is difficult to relate poetry to painting. But some people have seen a kind of affinity in my work to the Japanese haiku because of the simplicity, the author simplicity. I reduce as much as I can because I cannot go any further. But actually, I think there is a great challenge, and I also think there is a great beauty in simplification. What I do gives the impression of being a very, very simple canvas, but it isn't, because the possibilities are immense. And among those possibilities, I have to choose one. And after I choose one, I have to follow the execution of the problem visually. And that is what I have been trying to do ever since I found my work in painting, which was many years ago in Paris. set out to make an optical painting. It just was accidental. I was working at the structure of the painting, the sizes, the canvases, the lines, but some way or other they became optical for many people. have the idea first and then you get the paper and then you, you begin working and then you're in trouble and eventually a moment which is to me the moment that I treasure is the moment where you are expressing something that was inside of you but you could not express it with words and you're expressing it with lines and colors and so on. From that moment on I'm in heaven till I finish the painting. It's an adventure, every single painting. And you look at them and say, they're so simple. No, they're not so simple. And it's not the business of the onlooker, it's the business of the person who creates the, the picture. There is a wonderful anecdote of Miro. Miro had a canvas in which appeared one of strange little creature. And somebody will come and say, Señor Miró, that's a dog. And he said, yes, it is a dog. And then somebody else will come and will say, Señor Miró, that's a bull. And he will say, yes, it is. And somebody will say, Señor Miró, that's a cat. And he will say, yes. So what he was saying is, whatever you want it to be, but it's not what I did. And what he did was his secret. He probably was a fantastic animal that never existed. I'm not in the picture. I mean, the picture has a life of itself. I just made it. I am Cuban. I was born in Cuba. I feel very Cuban. But I don't start my day saying, I'm a woman Cuban who's going to do a picture. I say, I'm a painter who's going to paint a picture. And there I have no sex, no nationality, nothing. What I would like for people is to, when they go to a gallery to see my work or the work of any artist, is to leave their prejudice about painting outside the gallery and just look at what the artist is showing. It's as simple as when you look at a Persian rug. You don't bring evaluations, you admire the beauty of it. And I think that's the way you should look at abstract painting, completely abstract.
suffer and the weight of years. Girls, be good to these spirits of music and poetry that breast your threshold with their scented gifts. Leave the lyra clear and sweet, they live with you. As for me, this body is now so arthritic, I cannot play, hardly even hold the instrument. Can you believe my white hair was once black? And all oh, the soul grows heavy with the body. Complaining knee joints creak at every move. To think I dance as delicate as a deer. Some gloomy poems come from these thoughts. Useless, we're all born to lose life. And what is worse, girls, to lose youth. The legend of the goddess of the dawn, I'm sure you know. How rosy airs, madly in love with gorgeous young Tythonos, swept him like booty to her hiding place. But then forgot he will grow old and gray, while she in despair pursued her immortal way. Edwin Morgan, poet. Till we all meet in heaven. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>